How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another very late episode of Cut mm-hmm. <laughs> You got your boys here, Sheldon and Greg from Cut hey, hey, hey. And tonight we are going to be reviewing Cook's Cabin full range. Uh, thank you very much, Gavin McMurray. Yeah, thank you so much. It yeah. really looks awesome, and yeah, we're super excited to taste that repair pair range. Oh yes, and we got some wine too, just to pair it nicely. Oh project. hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what a lovely end to the weekend we've had. I think we've had perfect weather all weekend. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think without further ado, let's. Uh, uh, jump straight into the first one which is the jalapeno oh yeah i'm kind of excited for this one so we're going to keep it the same as what we did with the last review of color skull we'll be rating oh, yes. it based off of the aroma yes. consistency the um the aftertaste. taste and aftertaste yeah of course the taste that's why i went huh? yeah exactly <laughs> yeah okay uh, all right let's organize all yeah right. so let's uh taste them eh? yeah yeah let's go for it mm. all right here we go. You get the saucy one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not the same lots of sauce. Yeah, so as you guys can see, yep. it's looking very delicious mm. as a peri peri sauce. It's nice and glossy, and you can see the creaminess already. I mean, yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay, let me get this, rid of that. The smell, <coughs> mm, you can definitely smell the, the nice peri peri pulling through there. Mm. But, um, yeah, you can smell, it's not like going to kill you or anything, you know, it, yeah. it doesn't smell dangerous. No, no, of course, yeah. this one being the mild end, yeah. we always seem to do these things before any kind of meal, lunch or dinner, so <laughs> my mouth is watery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, then. <laughs> right, yeah, let's yeah, hit it. Consistency, what do you think of it? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, consistency, it's actually very good, it's very creamy. Mm. I mean, as a peri peri sauce, it shouldn't run too much, which is exactly what we see yeah, here. Exactly. It's absolutely perfect consistency. Awesome stuff. Okay. Let's dive into it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh man. So it's actually really flavorful though. Mm. Mm. Yo, I keep thinking of a chicken burger. Mm. Yo, that would be super nice. And and nice chicken burger. Mm. 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 That's nice. Yeah. There's a little bit of zing. Yeah, not Even too much. Shows, yeah, yeah exactly. a nice little zing there. Mm. Mm. So Very for cool. you guys that um, obviously want a more milder sauce and you guys love your peri peri sauce, yeah. definitely try the Cook's Cabin Low Felt mild one it's really yes. really like i must say oh yeah yeah you can eat that on pretty much everything yeah good for the whole family yeah, yeah exactly mm-hmm. and the aftertaste as you said it's not too rough on the throat yeah it goes on very well yeah it's, it's flavorful it's yeah. not actually super burning at all to me yeah, yeah. yeah. Which but it's like nice. yeah. yeah i mean geez that's you, you just want to drink the bottle kind yeah of thing. exactly it's <laughs> getting more flavor yeah flavor flavor yeah, flavor. yeah. yeah cool yeah. all right cool jumping on to the next one guys yeah. Alright guys, so now that we have tasted the mild one from Cook's Cabin No Felt, first of all, let's cleanse our palates oh, yeah. with a nice glass of wine. I've been staring at the one. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Always like it to have wine on the mm. same day, man. It's like grape juice, man. This is exactly. It's four cousins, natural sweet, you know, just something to mm. sip on it. Not, not yeah, fancy. exactly. Nothing too fancy. Yeah, just juice. Just clean the pear a little bit. Mm. But yeah, so now we're going to be jumping on to the Cook's Cabin Double Burn. Yes. So unfortunately we don't know much about um, what chilies are in these sauces, but we do know that they are quite lacquer though. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we'll definitely find out from Gavin soon to find out what chilies exactly he's got in all of these sauces. Yeah, but um, a secret though. Yeah, exactly. Probably a trade secret yeah. or something like that. But not to also chat. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, we can't be But yeah, so, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump Get into it. it. Right, hey. There you go. Double Thank burn. Thank you. Double burn. Double trouble. Double burn. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. You can definitely smell the... It smells hotter, mm. a little bit hotter than the last one. The yeah. last one had a very sweet smell. Yeah, you know? exactly. The consistency also looks quite nice, nice and thick, mm. like you want your peri peri to be like. Um, mm. I see a red chili in here. Yeah, so you can see even just the concentration of chilies is yeah. higher. So yeah, exactly. I'm guessing that's probably what you're dealing with here. Yeah. And, um, the difference between the um, the mild, it's the same base by the looks of things, mm. it's just perhaps more chili. Yeah, yeah. exactly. All right, yeah. so consistency now of time for taste. Yeah, I think it's a bit thicker, but you're yeah. it. All right, Chow. cheers, cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm. Straight off the bat, a lot hot already. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a nice bit of steam. Mm. Mm. Definitely a, um, a change of pace between 
the mild and the double burn. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So previously, you know, if you'd be buying a Prego at some market for your child, yeah, that would be the mild. mild yeah, yeah. This one is like, you know, for people, I guess, who enjoy like quite and that they like yeah, to feel exactly. the heat between the child. Yeah, it's not super hot though, obviously, mm. like, it's not take your breath away hot but it, you do feel this <laughs> but it definitely like stings your um tongue and your throat a bit as mm. it goes down your esophagus yeah yeah keeps you warm i mean we're going into winter guys so this is lucky yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, what would you pair this with mm. a trinchada yeah. oh, i have never made one at home before but yeah, you know, that would be interesting if you guys have some cool recipes yeah. for home yeah send them through to us please we'd love to try them out this is a perfect chicken shot mm. definitely not a chicken and beef one and yeah. yeah just with your bread and that you know chicken pieces yeah no, exactly yeah. or even like chicken lovers or something that would sure. be excellent that eh? definitely man definitely mm -hmm. yeah so let's jump on to the last of the sauces from cook's cam and lofeld yeah but uh yeah last that's up next <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Right guys, so we're on to the last Cook's Cabin No Fault sauce, and this is the Ghost Reaper, the hottest one of their range. Mm. Um, by the looks of things, doesn't give any hints again on uh, the chilies at the back, but uh, by the looks of things, we're looking at ghost peppers, and some reaper. of these, and mm. some, a little bit of Reaper maybe. Yeah. Oh. So this one's obviously going to be quite a bit hotter than the last yeah. one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, geez, let's do a palate cleanser yes, before we jump in. Palate cleanser. It. So we get the full effect. <laughs> yeah, just, just ginger to the sushi. <laughs> Ah, very mm. good. Right. Very, very good. So let's jump into it, eh? Hell yeah. Mm. Now this one, this one always gets the heart racing. Yeah, because I mean ghost peppers yeah. and reapers. If you guys know your chilies, you know that those two are always wow. fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So straight off of the bat, you can definitely smell mm. it's a lot hotter than the previous two. Even feel it in my nose a little bit. Yeah, like exactly. Slight, it's tingling. Mm. Smell it. Yeah, and the consistency, as you guys can see, it's nice and thick. Yeah, also. Also, the same consistency throughout. So the consistency yeah. of the sauces altogether, in terms of consistency, yeah. is very consistent. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly. Well done, Gabriel. Exactly. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now time for taste. Yeah, man. Cheers. Bottoms up. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah, okay. So obviously we have this one on our show. Yes. Which if you guys haven't checked out yet, and maybe you're a new fan of Kakot, yeah. definitely go check out all of our episodes. All of them are available on YouTube and so on. Yes. And uh yeah, I think this one is number five. See the five well, or six or something, I think. Like yeah, that. five or six on our table. At Possibly the five, yeah. It's yeah. terrible that we don't know. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> we just do this day for the child. Right? Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> yeah. the enjoyment of uh, chatting to mm. our amazing guests and oh, so yeah. on. That's always fun. But yeah, so um, definitely a winner this one. How's the heat for you? Yeah, for me, Stall, straight off the bat, like, you think, oh, this is fine, this is fine. Yeah, and then no. a couple seconds after, like, your second child, it's like, oh, Definitely there. The aftertaste, I'm going to say, it's definitely a nice mm. green burn on the yeah. throat. Keeps um, you awake, keeps you alive. Um, yeah, exactly. Again, warm winter. It's very yeah. lucky. Yeah. I dig the heat. This is a nice heat though. It's not like crazy, crazy. Yeah. It's just for a peri peri style sauce, this is like, you know, for the seasoned chili eaters, um, or chili, hot chili sauce eaters, mm. you know, that like their food very hot and they use this for basting or bregos yeah, exactly. or whatever it might be. Yeah. Yeah, so if you don't want like a, a milder sauce, uh, definitely go for. The Cook's Cabin um, Ghost Reaper one. Oh, yeah. It's really like I must say. Mm. And um, yeah, as I'm carry on talking here, my throat is like also still burning, which yeah. is nice, you know. As so you keep so yeah. it's mm. not like a, a burn and they go, you know. It's like yeah, yeah. a burn that keeps burning for a little while. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah. 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 Well, what do you pair this with? Um, geez. Honestly, I, I think I all of them like chinchard. Yeah, yeah, but it's not as freaking great. Yeah. The chicken livers, chinchada. Just depends how hot you want it. I mean, basically. yeah, peri peri style sauces, any kind of water food mm. is a freaking like it with yeah, exactly. something like this. Yeah. Eh? But like not to be too um, extravagant or anything, I'd put it on the steak, eh? Or just base oh, chicken geez. on it, you know, before yeah, put it on the bra. Yeah. No, even just on a cracker, man. Oh, yeah. like just like what do we do? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah awesome stuff, yeah. man. So guys that's the cook's cabin low fault peri peri range yeah uh, but we got a special 
um, edition here that we're going to be testing out now mm -hmm. in this next clip. Okay. So stay tuned. So as mentioned, uh, Gavin actually sent us a special sample here of his amazing Cook's Cabin Lofel Ghost Candy. <laughs> yeah. And the reason why we dig that is because it's literally yeah, the like the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> I feel a bit too old to be doing that, yeah. but whatever. We do it for, for uh, marketing recent, uh, reasons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and according to his label, it says that it's on quite the hot range, which mm. is quite nice. That's cool. And um, yeah, so this one says here, Candy peppers, best paired on pizza, nachos, tacos, and sandwiches. So these pizza. are really mm. some of the pairings that you would definitely think of putting it together. Oh, that's nice. And I mean, a lot of bottles don't have pairings. Yeah, exactly. They just say, Pair it with food. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah. So this one contains cider vinegar, sugar, garlic, pineapple, peppers. So obviously, a few of the jalapenos, I'm guessing, yeah. and some spices. Specific. So yeah. Let's uh, jump into it. Just jump right into it. Right into it. Okay. There they are. We loaded the, mm. some crackers up quite nicely here. Yeah? yeah. Don't be shy, don't be shy. Yeah, and then check mustard seeds in there too, which mm -hmm. is cool. So that's what it looks like. Yeah. It's quite nice. <coughs> this, this is like a, a five star, or oh, sorry, right. One star Michelin chef will do, you know. Oh, yeah. You had a fancy tuxedo, black and white party, you walk around these. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're, you're oh, there's, there's some cream cheese that be oh, actually yeah, delicious. Philadelphia cream cheese sure. on a cracker with yeah. this like, mm. finished dead. So, obviously, the smell smells mm. flipping lacquer. Yeah, very you know, tight. very fresh yeah. as well, which yeah. is nice. And, um, yeah, uh, the consistency, well, it's uh, peppers, so the consistency is always consistent. Peter's patch of pickled peppers <laughs> consistency. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, now for the taste test. Yeah, I might have my mouth full with this one. Yeah, so exactly. Give us like 10 seconds to chew. Eh? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, yeah, cheers, cheers. It definitely is quite hot. Mm, it's got quite a zing. Yeah. So, if we had to compare this to the um, Calaveras Skull, yeah, our previous um, one, our previous one mm. of the same type. So, yeah. this was a skull candy, and yeah. then this one is a ghost candy, because like, of the, the names. Yeah. yeah. So, what I pick up from that mm. then is that there must be some ghost peppers in here. Very there. possibly. I Very mean, possibly, yeah. To be confirmed, but uh, the labeling and Obviously, the name definitely hints at that. And yeah, what exactly. is the heat? <laughs> yeah. There's maybe some ghost seeds in there or something just mm. to buff it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, this is speculation. Yeah, but I must say that, that um, compared this one to the Calavera Skull one, this one is definitely a hotter range. Mm, yeah. uh, sure. The Calavera Skull was more of a sweeter range, you know, something that you would chow to um, yeah. cleanse your palate with mm. or just for sh uh, fun, you know. <laughs> but uh, this for one, yeah, for yeah. shenanigans. Yeah, but this, okay. uh, this one I'd definitely say is um, a lot hotter, so you, mm. um, definitely it would pair lacquer if you like if you have a hot taste mm. for something and you don't don't get confused though like if you see this and the caliber of skull in your cupboard and you're thinking ah oh, let me give my guests something nice and, they, and, and their the children and the children <laughs> yeah they don't <laughs> give them unless they're being naughty they're yeah, a yeah. sweetie boy yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 after taste what mm. do you think. It does leave a nice sweet taste in your mouth, so mm. again, this kind of thing I've really, it's really grown on me in that it's very Moorish, you know. Mm. Previously, I haven't really eaten a lot of pickled jalapenos, cowboy same. candy, skull candy, ghost candy, um, but it's really growing on me, so it definitely makes me want to eat a lot more. I mean, mm. I'm, I'm struggling to talk because my mouth is yes. elevated. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> same here. I'm yeah. saying, like I'm breathing and I'm finding it, yeah. like it just keeps it coming. Just keeps yeah, right, exactly, yeah. it keeps coming. I'd say mm. the heat is on par with uh, the Ghost Reaper, huh? Yeah, but definitely. Obviously a different kind of approach as a product. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Yeah, no, very nice, Kevin, mm. really. You're doing a very good job there with your sauces. Yeah, We're really loving it. Guys, if you want any of these sauces, please do go check them out. They're all available on our website. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, and also on our shop. 
on my Instagram shop and wherever you're going to be watching this please do subscribe like and follow yes. all of our socials and everything like that and um, yeah yeah like the next market uh, hopefully you guys will find us we'll be able to give you some tasters of this yeah. and you might be able to walk away with so lack of peri peri sauces. Lack of peri peri sauces. Yeah, mm -hmm. indeed. And I mean, yeah, don't forget to, of course, check in with Gavin and his page, Cooks Gavin No Felt. That's the one. Don't confuse with the other Cooks Gavin. Yeah. Got nothing to do with them. Yeah, And exactly. um, yeah, check them out. I mean, their socials and everything like that. Obviously, mm -hmm. you can get products from them too. So yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Thanks very much, awesome Gavin. Stuff. This has been great. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And then we'll catch you in the next review. Yeah. Cheers.